as soon as I go off the side just a little, it, it, it sinks down. I'm still floating on top a little bit, so I'm gonna have to cut that way, try to make my own way up to my camp. But the snowshoe effect of the uh, airing down is amazing. I don't know. I really want to make it to my spot, so um, I'm gonna try it a little bit. If I mess this up, he's gonna kill me. There we go. No, it's gonna wreck his road. So I'm gonna go clean my camera. I'm gonna back her out of here. All right, well, plan C is gonna be, I'm just here. If I can make it to this road here, I can at least back up and turn around. And I think if I'm turning around, I can get out of here, so. Let's get out of here. I didn't wreck that much of his road. He's not gonna be happy. I'll just tell him my sister did it. Well, I'm good and stuck now. I'm gonna shovel this out. And then we're going that way. minutes later I'm pretty stuck I have been shoveling for about a half an hour now I was high centered so now I think I'm gonna get it now so All right, now I gotta reassess. Oh. Let's see if I can back out. Lesson learned here, I should have shoveled the underneath completely so you can see all the way through before even attempting to get out. I would have saved a lot of time. And lesson number two, I broke my plastic shovel. I need to get myself a, a better shovel. I have some duct tape, I'll fix it up after, but I'm gonna head into the woods now. I'm gonna cut a couple trees and start slowly driving in. <laughs> Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm 
my buddy Randy in his Jeep to the rescue. So we'll pull me out and we'll see what uh, happens from there. There you go. Somebody knows what he's doing. So the rest of the evening was basically just me trying to ram through the trail and then Randy would pull me out. We were just trying to make it far enough in for where I wanted to camp. But we didn't really make it that far. But it was still fun and I was able to learn a lot from Randy. He's been off-roading for a while. And we just, you know, he knows the ins and outs and he was able to teach me some things. So thanks Randy. I think I broke through it. Yeah. Now he's taking some air out. Going to four. Ooh, it's cold. That's about it for tonight. We were just getting stuck over and over. Didn't really make it far. I decided to just enjoy the night instead with friends and family. I got best my sister, sister here. Ever. Yeah, my best sister. It's, it's, my only only, one. it's my only one. So we're just uh, enjoying a, a fire right now and we're gonna put some steaks on. He wanted me to sleep in a tent outside. It's fine. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Then we got our potatoes here, which somebody almost ruined. <laughs> well, he left me for death. He left for like 10 minutes, fire went out. Potatoes caught on fire when the fire was out. Notice how she said 10 minutes? It was long. Perfect. Kind of hard to see, but this is the new uh, Rough Country uh, fire pit and grill. It's pretty awesome for just having a fire, especially in the woods. Uh, tear down. It's got a nice bag. Anyway, I'll do a, a full review on it. Perfectly roasted. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Bunch of bubbly. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> if you're ever in New Brunswick, Four Rivers, a really good local brewery. This is the Rock Bolter. Saved it for my meal. We're gonna try the steak. <clears throat> I only brought one knife, so. Oh, here. Ah, uh, fine. 
Oh, wow. Hmm, that's good. All right, guys, real scenario. You're out in the woods off-roading, you get stuck, you gotta stay in your two-door Bronco overnight, or you're out having too much fun, like I did tonight, and you gotta sleep in your two-door Bronco. Can it be done? Let's find out. Well, you know what? We don't have a choice. We're sleeping in the Bronco tonight. So, first thing you want to do, you want to be able to <clears throat> bring your seat forward as much as you can. Your passenger seat, that is. So, it's fine. No short Bronco sticker. Okay, so you can't see, but I'm gonna put something here. When I put a mattress here, it's level. Maybe I'll put my camera gear. But I do need this mattress pump. You know what? I think this case here will do just fine. And now once I put my mattress here, it'll be fine. So let's go try that. Okay. So we got the mattress. Did I bring my mattress? Can you imagine if I did not bring my mattress? How dumb that would be. No, I must have had to have brought my mattress. Did I put it in here? I forgot my mattress. Are you serious? I am a f***ing idiot. I forgot to bring my air mattress. It's gonna suck. Here's what I got. So I just put down uh, my wool blanket and then my sleeping bag. I put my backpack where my uh, pillow is. I got my wolf blanket there. So I'm just gonna crawl in here. The Bronco still started. I'll just reach over and hit the pause, uh, the uh, stop button. I should be all right. Anyway, it's just sleeping. Uh, my sleeping bag is rated for minus 15 and it's only minus nine out. So it's not all that bad. I got some water there. That should be good. I'm gonna be honest, this is not the most comfortable. My feet are up against the grill, which is fine. I'm leaning upwards. I am tired, so. We'll see you guys tomorrow. You know, I mean, it's doable for sure. See, I got all my gear next to me. Anyway, it is doable. I'll tell you more about that in the morning. All right, good night guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Well, that was a horrible sleep, but only because I forgot my air mattress. There's actually enough room. I'm 5'8". My feet right now are touching the rear gate, but I still got, what's that? Two, three inches to go. I think up to six feet, you would be able to fit. Oh, I even pushed the seat forward a little bit there. Sleeping in a Bronco. Yeah, so here's a little trick. If you have a standard to start it, I used my tripod to push the clutch in so I didn't have to get in the seat because it's cold. But now it's all warmed up, so I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna pack up and uh, head home. I'll probably go for a nap in my bed. That's comfortable and not lumpy because I forgot my air mattress. Dumb. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.